Hey guys, Shane Starnes here with droidforums.net and today uh, we're going to do the very first thing that I always do when I get a new phone. We're going to do a drop test. Right? No, just kidding. We're going to root this thing. Uh, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you guys how to use the Motofell 2 Go by D Junior Bliss. Uh, you can find the developer of this root method on Twitter. His Twitter handle is D Junior Bliss. Be sure to give him a big shout out and thanks uh, because this root method is going to work for the HD, the HD Max, and the uh, M, the Razer M. So, uh, big shout outs to D Junior Bliss for the root method. It's very simple, it's very easy. You'll head to the link in the description, download the package, you'll unzip that to your desktop, and uh, then the next thing you'll do is you'll head to your phone, you go into settings, and developer options. Be sure to check USB debugging, and then you can go ahead and plug your phone into your computer. So we'll just go ahead and plug in our micro HDMI cable and we'll set that to the side. Okay, then the next thing we'll do, oh, also be sure that you have the USB, you wanna make sure that you have the USB drivers installed onto your computer so that your computer can recognize the phone. We'll go ahead and open up the kit. Okay, so this is what you'll have here and all you have to do is double click the run.bat. So we'll just double click the run.bat Okay, so once you click the run.bat, this toolkit will pop up. This is just telling you to be sure before you continue that USB debugging is enabled and that you have the latest Motorola drivers installed on the PC. Uh, so you go ahead and press any key to continue. Okay, so now it's telling us to trigger a bug report. So that's part of the exploit. We have to trigger a bug report. And so by doing that, all we have to do is hold volume up and power sim simultaneously. So these two buttons here. We're waiting on that little vibration. So let's see. So if you got that vibration, so you have that volume vibration and then you'll have a secondary vi vibration. Once that's finished, you'll press any key to continue. It says getting root, this may take a minute or two. So like it says, it may take a few minutes. So don't stress out if it's taking a while. We'll give it five to 10 minutes. Okay, so it says cleaning up, success, exploit complete, press any key to reboot and exit. So we'll go ahead and press any key. That's rebooting our device. When it comes back, we should have root access with the super user. Okay, so once we're booted up, we'll go to our app drawer and see if the super user application has shown up. And there it is, there's a super user application. So the next thing we'll do is head to the market and download uh, Root Checker just to double check and be sure. So we'll go ahead and download and install Root Checker. And as soon as that is finished installing, we'll go ahead and open it and check for root. So verify root access and there you have it. We have our super user request. We can go ahead and allow that. That means that we do have super user permission. It does say that uh, the device has been rooted. So guys, that is the quick and easy method. Thanks to Dan Rosenberg uh, for rooting your Razer HD, Razer HD Max, or your Razer M. Uh, for more videos like this, be sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Give this video a big thumbs up if it helped you in any way. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.